state. The fight to stop a taxpayer-funded convention hotel moving into downtown rolled into Jackson County today into a courtroom, in fact. Plans for that 800-room hotel would go near 16th and Baltimore. Lisa Benson spent the day in the courtroom. She joins us live now with What's Next. Lisa. Well, Mike, a judge heard both sides of this issue today and called a recess to review the facts. Now, let me back up a little bit and tell you what's going on here. The city has partnered with a development team to build a $300 million, 800-room convention hotel near 16th and Wyandotte. The city is slated to help finance the deal with tax abatements and taxes generated by the hotel. But watchdog groups, Citizens for Responsible Government, say voters should decide if they want to pay for a new hotel. The group gathered signatures, and now they're petitioning the court to force the city to put the financing of this hotel before voters. Both sides presented their case to a judge today. We believe that this is unconstitutional on its face because it conflicts directly with existing TIF laws, and it also is asking the city to overturn contracts that have already been executed, that are already signed, that are already in force. It is very important to keep the city in check. If the city is able to thwart initiative petitions just because they want to, uh, or by signing contracts after the petitions get filed, uh, the initiative petition, the, the initiative process itself would be worthless. Now the judge is expected to rule in the coming weeks. We'll keep you posted on any decisions in this case. Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.